We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today, Faithful Acolytes. We take a look at this. And what this is from Braswell's, it is the Habanero Honey. And uh, I have some reservations about this packaging. We'll get to that momentarily. Ingredient wise, we have honey, natural habanero flavor, which means almost certainly an extract. So, Braswell's is a company I'm not super familiar with. I had a sauce from them that uh, I did a review of that it was not super well received by me, as I recall. Uh, I have not come across their sauces, their sauce line elsewhere, and I honestly was honestly unimpressed enough that I really haven't looked into it further. It's not to say that I wouldn't try something else from them again uh, on the sauce side. I just haven't come across it uh, when I've been looking. So, but I am looking for a hot honey because the the hot honey I have right now is starting to run out. And it, hot honeys are way easier to find than hot peanut butters. And, of course, I like to have me a uh, peanut butter and honey English muffin in the mornings for my breakfast, not to give too much away, but that's what we'll be doing in this video as well. So I came across this and most of the time with hot honeys, they're generally not super hot unless they're like in the Hellfire or uh, Inferno Candy Company had one, I believe called Hellfire that was, that one was very, very punchy. Uh, and there's been a few other ones as well that get up there a bit, but it's a fine balance because if you go too hot of, uh, you know, if you, if you hit it too hard with the heat and honey, honey, I don't think bears up to that particularly well. If you stand on it, there's, I think, going to be trouble. All right. If you're satisfying click and you can see, oh, it is right to the top. This is a 11 ounce bottle and I can't well maybe I can can I oh boy there's no way well we're, we're not gonna worry about what it looks like in there let's so here's my first problem with this this is stupid packaging do you normally buy honey that's not pourable <laughs> do you normally do that because I don't and yeah, I don't like this at all. This is really kind of super annoying. Looks, I mean, it looks, obviously, it looks like a nice golden honey as we're used to. There are some dark streamers in there. I wonder if that is the extract. I'm not 100% on that. But uh, let's see. So it smells pretty honey. It actually smells like honey with like a black tea dust, which is really bizarre to me. But uh, I guess we might as well just uh, go for it and see what we got here. Hmm. That is uh, weird. It has a very interesting taste to it. Definitely, this is uh, definitely an extract. It has that super immediate heat to it. Not really getting the metallic heat taste yet, thankfully. <laughs> so despite it being an extract, it is not super heavily... Um, on the extract side of things. So, 
let's show you the problem. When you have honey, most of the time you're not getting a spoon out and ladling it. Because if you're going to use honey, do you really want to dirty up silver every time you use it? I would guess no. And I, and I could. I could use my knife. I've got my spreading knife here for the peanut butter. But that's not what I like to do. So let's just see. See, this is... Wow. We're just socking it to these things. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! <laughs> you, do you see? Do you see now? Do you see now what the problem is? I don't know why you would package this like this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a spoon out every single time I use this. I'm not going to burn one of my white spoons every time I want to use this. So I'm gonna have to put this basically in a different vessel entirely, in order to be able to control how much of it I'm I'm kicking out. And unfortunately, it's so. It's nice to have a, a nice thin stream where you can control where it's going. This one, it just puddles because you don't have that nice thin stream where you can control where it's going. So I, 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 this, this packaging baffles me. Like, why would you ever do this? Even there's one idea from Australia called Bunsters, which may or may not be up by the time you see this. Now I got my knife full of honey, which I don't want to put in peanut butter like that. Oh. This honey off the knife is bad. It, it definitely gets a metallic-y taste there. But anyway, the Bunsters came in glass. Usually, you know, pla honey is one of the things that I think plastic actually kind of lends itself well for. Uh, but anyway, so it comes in glass, which is fine. But it comes in a pourable bottle. Almost like a, like a wine vinegar type shape to it, which is fine because you could just tilt it and control. When you have this wide open of, of an opening, like in what way could you ever do that? I don't know. The honey itself is fine. And, and this might, you know, I've, I've spent other time in videos just kind of messing around trying to do different stuff in there but like i said this is the main thing i use honey hot honey for is to try to give myself just a little a little punch you know for my breakfast sometimes it'll be with a hot syrup as well not not here not in this type thing but you know if i have like eggs or whatever So I've done quite a few of these. I don't know how many more applications I want to bother doing. So like I said, most of the time, this is really where I use probably 85% plus of the honey I get. And the honey, the, uh, the, the honey I have that's almost running out, I got a backup bottle for when that was going to be, but... That one actually turns out is more like a hot sauce than a honey because there's all sorts of stuff in it. To their credit, this is a this is a very hyper sweet honey, but it's very definitely a honey. I wonder if it's a blend. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's pasteurized. I've done a lot of these. I keep thinking that sometimes people will ask me why I don't rate uh, the other products that aren't hot sauces. And I like to have something special for the blog. That's mainly why. But I am thinking, because I've done quite a few of these, that maybe I should do a a ranking or a tier list or something.
I guess let me know if you're interested in that. The one downside to a tier list is unless I make it an editable document like on the blog, which I'm not going to do, as soon as I do another honey that's not on that tier list, then it's the tier list is immediately out of date. I mean, are, are time capsule tier lists any good? I don't know. I think you need to have some stability for one of those to make a lot of sense. All right, so this um, actually works well. So this is not a particularly super sweet peanut butter. It's why I like it. It doesn't have as much of the roasted flavor as I wish it did. So I, I'm thinking about switching up again. But um, the sweetness of the honey works really well with it here. This is definitely a, a, a one of the sweet. I'm definitely on the sweeter side as far as honeys go. That's kind of wild to think about. I think everybody has, you know, their conception of what a honey flavor is, a ubiquitous honey flavor. And it's, it's, it's interesting to me that I can deviate so much from brand to brand and, I mean, obviously from bees to bees, but that I can have such wild variations but still be recognizable as honey. Sugar, I guess, kind of does that in a way as well. So maybe it's like sweet stuff. I guess you could arguably make the case for chiles as well. Deep thoughts today. Deep thoughts. Um. All right, so... This will work fine. And the main application I want it for, I hate this packaging, totally hate it. So I am, I am going to have to find, maybe maybe I'll put it in the Buzzers bottle, which, which isn't, still isn't a great dispensing tool, but it is leagues better than this. This is just, honestly, this is dumb. Why would you do this? You don't want the consumers to actually consume any of the products. Definitely don't do that. Instead, they should just spill the shit everywhere. That is a much better idea. Like, I, I'm careful, and so I'm very de deliberate with trying not to get it all over the sides of everything and hell and tarnation and whatnot. But I could, uh, I mean, everybody's not me, right? I could see that this this pretty easily just getting right out of control. Because, again, you've got... This is wide open mouth on top of this. I, I <sighs> and you and you're not tending to use just great globs, just a huge glut of honey at a time when you use it. <sighs> this is just baffling to me. I I don't know why you would ever do this. And I guess I would say unless it's a the only so so why yes. Has a raw honey that uh, I know Whole Foods has. I don't know if it's around elsewhere or not. Theirs comes in a fairly semi solid state. That makes sense because you very clearly are going to have to get a knife and dig it out. Fine. Then you want an open top. But when it's liquid and it's honestly, this is a fairly loose honey as far as honey goes. <laughs> but that's my main complaint. And maybe my only complaint with this. It uh, it does nicely for what it does. Uh, I didn't talk about the heat. Uh, I'll give it a default one. There definitely is a charge there of the extract. It's enough for you to notice it. It is not enough to overpower anything. There's no real flavor notes to it. Uh, so so that that's all to the good there. 
Uh, overall, this is not not a brat. Uh, good product. It's a good product. Stupid, idiotic, moronic packaging uh, around a good product. And uh, I guess we'll just leave it there. So that is the Braswell's Habanero Honey. Number four. In peace. To serve the flame.